Psych, I'm going up. Okay. Oh my god, I just hit record. <laughs> we got it. Intense slime stuff. Welcome back, everybody, to the Terraria Master Mode Redux slash Redo slash Part 2 Master Mode Summoner. We are here in 1.4.1. Now, if you haven't heard what I said about restarting the Master Mode Summoner, there's a bunch of new items and a bunch of new changes to the Summoner class. And since I didn't finish the original Master Mode playthrough, we're starting up a new one to where we get to see all the new changes and items and accessories and all whatever the hell there is, accessories, quote unquote quote but let's hop into it here's the texture packs i'm using on the right just to spice up a couple things here and there's not too much but yeah we're gonna be retiring our boy rumbus here and making a new character his name bumbus all right so here's our world settings um i'm gonna put a number okay i'm gonna put master mode summoner one and the number is going to indicate how many worlds it takes for us to get a finch. Because if you guys didn't know, the original time I did the Master Mode series, the first episode to find a finch, I straight up generated like 10 worlds. And I think it took me like a whole day to record an episode because I was generating worlds and then I had something else to do. So I had to go generate worlds the next day because I just straight up wasn't getting finches. So, you know, I didn't want to sit there generating worlds all day. But here's the first world. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Hopefully there's a finch, please. Oh. All right, world number one. Will this be the permanent world we're staying in or will it not? Legendary copper pickaxe? Okay, that's a good sign already. But yeah, let me get to work walking left and right and hopefully finding the tree. Okay, we found a tree pretty fast. I didn't even need to cut the recording. I did anyways, but whatever. Let's check it out. Now, does this tree actually have what we're looking for? Bro, I need I need slime. And I'm not talking YSL either. I, I need slime so I can make a torch because it's going to be a little dark down here. Come on. One of, one of these things give me a torch. Uh, I made a world crimson because our last world was corruption or the original world was corruption okay i guess this works all right come on give me the finch staff okay bad start so far there's still a couple chances i think actually i don't know okay one is sparking you know if i was playing a mage this would probably be one of the best starts i could have had um i don't know if going deeper is the way oh shit <laughs> no 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 bro, bro, bro hey we can talk about this bro hey come on he's gaining on me bro he's fast as hell He's gonna kill me. I'm going down. Psych, I'm going up. Okay. First death to a gnome. Interesting. You know, one good thing about it being Halloween in Terraria, uh, it's October 19th, the day I'm recording this, is that there's pumpkins. And because there's pumpkins, we can get the pumpkin armor, which gives us a 10% overall damage boost, I believe. Which is honestly great for some. Uh, it's honestly just a great set in general for all classes early. And it's really easy to get. You just legit need pumpkins and that's it. So shout out to Halloween, right? Uh, but yeah, it's looking like there's no uh, finch staff. I don't know. I guess I could explore more of the world. Do I want to not really because I believe finch staffs only spawn in living wood chests so I think our uh, unless we get lucky and just have another living wood tree I think our uh, odds are already down in terms of getting one on this world so on to the next world okay so as you can see i made four worlds the second one actually did have a finch staff but the world was completely garbage hate it get it out of here the first and third world didn't have one but the fourth one had one instantly i will try and list the seed for this world if it's possible to obtain it now because i do just spam random seeds but boom bada bing our finch staff yes sir we can actually play the game now uh i will take the living loom and i will take the chair no reason specifically uh coming down here there's absolutely nothing hold up yeah kill that thing we want to get our bestiary up because it only takes 10 percent in the bestiary to get our first whip which is very very nice uh, are you targeted or not was it because i was holding a torch hold up i have a lot of fun in early master mode summoner as you can see this is so fun entertaining content but yeah the second world i did generate the world sucked but at the same time that world had a bunch of cool stuff so it was, it was like a bad world and a good world at the same time uh it had lava near the surface which was really cool and then the dungeon was like buried in sand which was also pretty cool so like i, I kind of would have been fine with having it but the crimson on that world was terrible it was just everywhere oh my god you see those reaction times pro terraria player look it up cloud nine 
TSM. Gamers 01, I'm on the TSM roster for Pro Terraria players. We are trying to get our hands on some pumpkins now because some pumpkins will obviously up our damage if we can get a pumpkin armor set, which would be amazing to have early game. Any type of damage or any type of armor set early game for summoner is amazing. I'm, I'm so hyped to see some of these new things with 1.4.1. I'm just so happy that they actually did some stuff with 1.4.1 instead of it just being, you know, here's the vanity set. Speak about vanity sets. I really want to get my hands on those. Those are some of the coolest vanity sets in the game, period. This feels like I've been sitting here for a year waiting for this finch to kill this slime. Come on. It's not that hard. I've done Terraria classes where I've used my fist to kill things. Hey, go check that series out. It's a cool series. But like, come on, you're a summon. You're supposed to kill things. So, oh shit, he hit me. Yeah, I think after I complete this master mode summoner series, we're going to do the other uh, summoner or not summoner, other master mode classes, uh, which I meant to get around to. Let's kill kill the regular green slime. We're trying to get the beast cherry up. Okay, I really want the slime though, but I might take a little damage trying to get my hands on it. But I'm going to do it anyways because I'm a pro player. You see the jukes. I'm trying to explore as much of the surface as I can. We need these pumpkins, bro. I don't care if they're little babies taking them. This sounds a little weird. But in terms of pumpkins, it doesn't sound that weird. We need all the pumpkins. The armor set, I don't know how much the armor set costs. I should probably try and figure that out right now. 20, 30, 25. So 75 pumpkins, that's... that's not the hardest i've definitely done harder things in uh summoner cough cough blade staff uh speak about the blade staff if you guys didn't watch my patch note video where i went over a bunch of the summoner changes of 1.4.1 the blade staff is a queen slime drop which is amazing because it gives me a reason to actually give a fuck about queen slime other than her being a new boss queen slime's kind of is kind of eh you know what i'm saying kind of eh doesn't really seem like there's a reason to fight it unless you specifically want something or if you just want to be like, hey, I 100% at all bosses in Terraria, hooray. Can you have sex with me now? It's like, it, she doesn't really matter. But they also did buff her armor set. So like, they're, they're definitely trying to give us a reason to fight her. I think honestly, the same thing can go with the Empress of Light. She got a lot cooler items than the uh, Queen Slime, obviously. But at the same time, she is definitely not a must fight. But I don't know. If I fight her and I beat her, then will you have sex with me? <laughs> yeah, we're just getting the early game loot, trying to get the pumpkins. That's really what this whole like first half of the episode is going to consist of. You know, one thing I'm going to miss from the original Master Mode series is that we got the bewitching table so early on in the game. Like, I believe it was the second episode is when we got the bewitching table because it was like straight up at the top of the dungeon. And that was just probably some of the best RNG in existence because the summoner played through. We got the summoner buff table. It's like you couldn't ask for anything better. So let's hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed if there is going to be a bewitching table up high, but probably not. Doesn't happen twice. Uh, or maybe it does. Who knows? I do really want to get my hand. Okay, I guess not. Oh my God. I just hit record. <laughs> okay, I found enough workbench. Nope found enough pumpkins uh and i was trying to go down that cave but apparently mobs spawned inside of it and chased me out but let me make this armor I, there's like no safe place i can stand bro finch please help this is so bad i just want to i just want to build okay okay and then he found a way to get in okay there you go all right now that i'm in a safe area here i can craft the armor helmet boom chest plate boom leggings boom and look at that we got the full pumpkin set 10 percent increased damage uh we should be good now it still says seven 10 percent of seven is like not a lot so it's just pretend that it's there where the fuck kill something bro i'm trying to get these bestiary points up all right part two we're gonna try and do this all in one episode did i do this last time i don't remember actually oh i did do it last time slime in the first episode slime staff to be exact we gotta find a slime statue uh which it's a big it's a medium world not a big world what is that there's gold all the way down there apparently and that actually is a slime statue i thought it'd be funnier if it was like a bomb or something bro this shit is like set up for a trap yo hold up there's a pressure plate right here this shit's actually set up for a trap this legit is made <laughs> This is made perfectly. Okay, so I just did a two, almost three hour stream of me finding a slime statue. Found one. Let me find the exact location. It was right here. Yeah, we found one. I'll probably post like some of the highlights in this video, maybe of us just finding it. And then I set up this contraption here with a pressure plate uh, minecart track because all I need to do is go like this just for a second and then i can let go of the button i don't even need to hold it anymore and boom bada bing we got our auto slime farm going on 
We got it. I'm back. We got it. Intense slime stuff. Not bad. I, I think. The mana cost might hurt us a little bit. But we done got it. I'm getting the hell out of here. I was laying down in my bed. Beating my meat. Alright, now that we have the slime stuff, I have a nice, simple next goal. That is to kill the king slime. But we're gonna make a full set of platinum armor. Now, maybe like, Gimmer, this, that's a lot of platinum. It is. But since we're in 1.4.1, I believe it's like 10 slash 15 bars cheaper than it was before. Uh, Because I think this was 35. And I think this was 20. 25 is cheaper because they did change that 1.4.1 so i'm gonna do that and then set up a slime arena all of that or boss arena and then also i might fish for another summon for obvious reasons we need another summon uh in terms of you know just minions in total maybe we check out the dungeon i haven't even been over here yet maybe we check out the dungeon and see if we can get an early game bewitching table probably not but you never know yeah let me let me get to it okay we done got the platinum now many of you may be asking why go through all the work to get the slime staff instead of just going straight for the new flink stuff which is better i've heard uh well i want to show off everything just like i did last time summoner is such a small class like there's no there's no reason for me not to collect everything i also just like collecting things in general it gives me me a goal in this series other than beat it uh if you watch some of my older series i've always i would always have a goal in the background sometimes it'd be collect all boss masks collect all trophies collect different types of fish aquarium stuff like that but uh just keep that in mind we're probably gonna do it for the future classes when we're doing it for summoner but yeah we got this new stuff we'll go over it in the next episode i'm gonna have a whole episode of us getting this so that that'll, that'll be next episode but yeah we have the platinum uh which the platinum is also used to make the flink stuff so let us make platinum armor we should have enough with just a little extra i think eight okay i might need to get more in the future it's all good there's so much of the world we haven't seen yet like look this is all i've explored like legit <laughs> but yeah uh i got the arena set up here and i'm just gonna go fishing now to get an extra summon and we should be ready to fight the king slime i am here at the dungeon i'll just get in some blocks so i can make some houses and let's just check real quick hopefully we don't die but real quick actually i kind of want some books but yeah real quick let's just check if there is a uh bewitching table okay absolutely not <laughs> okay so it is the next day irl and i've been working on some stuff off camera made a couple houses because i wanted the zoologist to spawn in because we have look at this 15.13 percent in our bestiary when we only need 10 percent now to buy the whip but i got 15 percent anyways uh, completely on accident but boom there's our first whip of the series and whips have been buffed they're a lot longer i don't know if this one's that much longer but a bunch of them have been extended to be a lot longer so let's let's get to this it may feel like i super over, over prepared for the king slime but you know it's master mode i'm just being safe i'm just being safe okay i don't want to summon in the finch i meant to summon another uh i meant to summon in another slime but let's get to it we got a nice arena here if i ever need to you know it is the king slime i could take off running and uh we'll be chilling we will be chilling uh let me just if this, my slimes aren't attacking him I'll, I'll target him i don't need to whip this whole time i can but we really don't need to but yeah it's the king slime fight we, we've seen this fight already uh i just want to get this fight out of the way as quick as possible though we get our first boss done I'm trying to make some good progress here in the first episode uh, because the second episode i want to get my hands on the flink stuff and then get doing all that stuff with the flink stuff because uh you know that's some new content for the early pre hard mode summoner there's a good handful of things that are in the early pre hard mode summoner and i'm hyped to see him we got a new armor set we got a new whip we got a new summon more new armor we get to buy the uh whatever the hell that accessory is the witch doctor sells now what the hell's the name of the accessory i don't know it's not coming to mind right now Have you guys ever noticed when the king slime jumps around the uh, ninja inside of him kind of like moves around nice little detail there i see them but yeah just target it if i need to oh that boy that boy had some speed on that hop i'll give it to him he has some speed on that hop he wanted me dead so the good thing about the other slimes okay the good shot i'll give him that that was a good shot but the good thing about the other slimes is that they don't uh drop through platforms like the king slime does so honestly we're, we're just chilling we're just chilling we can sneak underneath them the king slime uh we can't really sneak underneath them oh okay that was a bad spawn from him let me just finesse my way through all the slimes uh get my slimes over here come on we're close to ending this fight i just need my slimes over here come on where where were they at get jumping on it uh, the vanilla summons at least on 1.4 are nothing like the uh calamity summons uh, in terms of land summons how they just get stuck everywhere but there you go 
dead i don't even need to kill all these slimes i guess i will i have more than enough uh slime or gel as you can see but might as well kill all of them now i wouldn't be surprised if i got a slime staff drop from killing those guys but yeah pop open the treasure bag i wonder what's in it oh the usual stuff that's in it and then we got a goodie bag too rotten eggs okay I, I'm not the worst item but there you go first boss of this series dead i'm gonna go ahead and place the relic here why not now i do plan to build some slime houses you know i have 999 gel it's only right that i build some slime houses this time around but yeah i think that's gonna wrap up our first episode here the next episode we're gonna get popping with the new stuff right away we're gonna start farming uh flinxes over in the snow biome uh hopefully that doesn't take too much time to farm i don't know i'll make sure i bring uh torches or at least make some snow biome torches but yeah i will see y'all in the next episode follow my twitch please